Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mr. Jen. Time for your noon cartoony for kids with Mr. Jen. I'm all. And today we're going to play This Annoying Shadow is going to be there during the video. So I'm sorry. Um, I got to work on the lighting. That's ongoing process. Anyway, uh, we did a mammoth, letter M. So the letter N, we're going to draw a narwhal. What is a narwhal? You might be asking, Mr. Jan. I thought it looks like a, a, a beluga with a giant, like, unicorn horn on it. So, that's happening. And we're going to figure out how to draw it. And really, as far as shapes go, you're just kind of going to draw... A, a blob. It looks looks kind of like a blob. Um, we may so now we may have to uh, make this a little. You know, and I've learned something that if I take my hand off, it gets kind of fuzzy. But then when I bring my hand in, the camera like focuses on my phone. So I'm gonna leave this hand like right here, just a hello thumb, just so that. Um, it stays in focus, but so we got that. The, the horn of the normal is a big thing, and I kind of overshot it when I did most of the body. So we're gonna kind of take all this and just shrink it down a bit. So it's just a. This looks like the narwhal. It's kind of now we're gonna go with this shape. Okay, and then we're going to put its flippers down here, and then its other flipper kind of below it like that, okay, and then we'll kind of, we'll tilt this up here to give it like its fin, or its tail. Alright, let me curve it in a bit, and then, okay, well, it's, so, I learned from my son Fernando, that that is a, they consider it a tooth, because that's what it uses to break the ice, so, if you ever want to, have a conversation with a narwhal and break the ice, you just need a giant horn tooth going out of your head. So that's the narwhal. It's, you know, it kind of works. It's, it's big and goofy looking. It's kind of adorable. Um, hmm. That's different. Yeah, never thought I'd actually be drawing a narwhal. So that's the narwhal, and I guess so. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to ink this, so we can kind of see what I'm trying to work with. Um, again, find a spot, commit to it, start. I'm going to do that eye. Connect. It's a good eye. It's got a lot of character. This little bottom lippy. A smile. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a nice natural slope to the body. There's his tail. And then give it a little, little narwhal belly. We'll start over here. It. And I'll give it some armies. Mm. Oh, narwhal. Alright, I feel a little bit better about it now. 
initially not a fan, but I'm okay with it. It's not bad. I'm actually kind of happy with it. Just try one of those. You know, you gotta have a steady hand. Um, it's a lot of practice. You know, just when you when you commit to what you want to draw, just you know. And then this is usually my old go-to. I just I enjoy using you know. It's frayed, so it's time time to get a new one. Look at that! My goodness, it's like a it's like a really frustrated bird. But I just like the way the ink kind of comes out with it. And you can do this, like just make a little. Again, I kind of don't leave that top part. Call you leave it in white. I'm just, I'm just adding some texture to it. Call on yes, you know it'll do a little bit of a smudge. This one we can do, we can give this in shadow because this is the under of the uh, the flipper. There you go, and then you can kind of add. There's some little flex and freckles on it. Kind of just gives it a nice, you know, like it's of the nature. Oh, and then, so the horns, it does kind of curve like a unicorn. So I wonder if they like, if people thought these were unicorns of the ocean. It's fun to imagine what people might have thought. I mean, you know, if you're like a a whaler and you see this thing coming out of the ice, yeah, you'd probably freak out. That just gives a nice little uh, natural look. And then, I guess what we can do then. Oh, oh. I'm gonna overdo it. Just kind of just, just enough to show that it's underwater. Maybe this is a micron. It's like a really thin, thin. And just do this. A narwhal. Some bubbles. Oh, and then yep, we always have to put. I'm gonna put it right over here because I like I like what's going on here, so I don't want to ruin it with just having to put the lettering over. But let's go in. Is four. This one I'm pretty sure is how you spell it. So, and if not, man, I'm horrible. But ninety percent sure that's how you spell narwhal. So we're gonna go with it. We might get on Google later. Uh, it will hopefully be correct, but that is our cute little narwhal in the ocean. Um, 
And it started off with, you know, I overshot it, made this hip too big, kind of made it into a nice fluid, smaller fluid shape. So when you're doing with, with nature, you know, it's curved lines. It shows that it's natural. Um, that's the horn. Yeah, that is our narwhal. So there you go. Get you back in focus. Um, all right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. This is your noon cartooning for kids with Mr. Jenimal. Or, you know. And um, don't forget, you got two more hours till, till we close for the, for the weekend. Long holiday weekend. But until then, y'all stay safe. Wear your mask. Love each other. Be good. Um, keep an eye on your books. Don't lose them. Please. And uh, we'll see you next Saturday. So, MN, so O and P will be next week. But for now, M and N. Not the rapper, the words, or the letters, to for you to draw today. Okay, be well. Thank you all. You have a good day. See you soon. Narwhal, narwhal in the ocean.